This right here triggered someone. I uploaded this shot basically on Twitter and said something about cable management, do you prioritize it? And someone uh, on the social media platform became very upset. I don't know if he was just having a bad day. I'm not gonna call him out by name or you know, I don't want you guys going there harassing him or anything like that. Uh, but he was very standoffish up front about how you know this thing didn't exist, right? This, this whole clear, transparent panel. Even on the left side, he was talking about how PCs used to be completely enclosed where you couldn't see on the inside. And I made a comment when I uploaded the picture about how PCs are a form of art, at least for me. And, and I would hope that other people, when they build uh, you know, comparable systems, would take the time to make these look nice. I didn't say it was a requirement. Obviously, if you build every week, maybe you just want to get them out of the way, you know, then, then making things look very artsy isn't a priority. Uh, but I was just really surprised that this person was so upset by the new trend in PCs. So I kind of want to talk about that in this video. Now, just so you guys get an idea of what goes on pretty much every day here. This is uh, this is actually an old mattress box. This has all of my custom loop gear in it. Uh, up, you know, fittings, radiators, uh, CPU blocks, graphics card blocks, reservoirs, all that's in this box. I actually have more of it in the, in the other room. Uh, all my fittings are there, some of them anyway. Uh, and then we have a couple like, you know, 90 degree fittings and stuff in this bag. I try to keep things semi-sorted so I know where I'm going and, and where to look for things. Uh, I have that course piece I'm working on right now. You'll see the other side of that in a second. Uh, air cooler from an old build I just tore down. That's the Thermaltake V37 I reviewed earlier. Had a build in that. I took that build out. This is the deep cool case that I built in and reviewed a few weeks ago. Uh, the build in there is coming out as well. This is our roughly five six hundred dollar build. I was using, you know, I was hooking it up to that monitor and running things. Uh, it's not an official setup or anything. Uh, you can see I'm fairly organized over here, right? So I have all of my graphics cards and motherboards up. You can see I don't have many graphics cards. I have, uh, what do I have here? I have a 1070, I have a 1070 Ti, a 1080 Ti, I and then a 570 and then a 760. I mean look I bought these three by myself right so no one <laughs> no one sent me these three uh, this one I got from EVGA this one I got from Gigabyte this isn't even a car this is just a, a, a water block so I you know I don't have a like a graphics card supplier it'd be nice if I had one but I really don't um, and I kind of have to rely on, on my own you know business budget to get a lot of these things now motherboards I can pretty much get those you know at will uh, but you know you can only do so much for the board you also have to have the CPU to uh, go inside of it so I try to keep things fairly organized in the film room. Now the office is almost always clean. This was much worse about I don't know, 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, I had two builds in here that I was taking apart. This was my own personal build in the Fractal uh, Define R6. Uh, this has now been torn down to just the motherboard and cables and power supply. I'm still in the process of taking those things out. You see a couple of the tubes that I bent from the custom loop are still on the ground. Um, I was pretty much doing everything on top of these little cubbies. I have a CPU cooler over there for I don't even, I don't even know what reason. There's a 7900X CPU just laying casually on on the uh, on the desk there. So the kitchen is where I disassemble all of my custom loop gear. You can see I was doing dishes as well. Uh, this is the pump, the tubing, the CPU block. We have uh, the graphics card here, one of the two 1080s. This reservoir from Thermaltake, check this out. This is, sorry about how loud that is. This is pretty gross. Um, I don't know if you can really see. It's gonna be, this, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to tell on camera. But anyway, this, reservoir has a bit of a green tint to it. It's actually a, a, a thick film on the inside from the fluid. So I posted a pic to Twitter a, a while ago showing that the fluid that I'd originally put in my R6 build was purple and then it slowly turned green which I think means that something either in the radiator or in the fluid itself was anodizing which is not good. It means that uh, it's either picking up the metal and carrying it with it uh, or it's oxidizing right and that'll turn metal certain colors so interesting that it's green. I don't think it's copper though because these aluminum rads are just that, they're aluminum. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. And everything else is nickel plated. So unless it ate through the nickel, which I highly doubt, uh, then something in these rads was, uh, yeah, causing some weird issues with the fluid. So I wanted to show you all of this to really give you an idea of the, the kind of time that it takes to build and tear down and build again these PCs. I don't do this because it's a part of my job. In fact, I could probably build one PC a month and still have a successful channel just because I feel like our channel in particular is more of like an informative channel. Um, so if I shifted to just that, I would do it. I just don't like to learn all the time. You're probably like, wow, Greg actually said that on camera, but it's true. I really don't, you know, it just gets boring 
boring after a while. I like building PCs. That's where my free time goes. Uh, and, and that's why I'm always tweaking things. I'm always, you know, if I'm changing one or two things in a build, I'll be happy to do it because it's just another form of art for me. It's like painting on a totally blank canvas and just getting to be as creative as you want uh, within your budget. And that's why I have so many builds just laying around all over the place because I want to see what looks good with what, what works well with what, you know, from an experimental standpoint, not just how good things look, but how well they run together. And that's why I'm always experimenting and, and trying new things with just, a, you know, minor changes in the uh, build itself. And that's where custom loops come in. This is the one I'm currently working on. You'll see more details on this in a dedicated video. Uh, but this is basically like the pinnacle for a custom PC builder here. If you can build a custom loop, preferably with, with rigid tubing, it requires more work, in my opinion, looks a little better, uh, then you have reached like nirvana when it comes to building PCs because you can be as creative as you possibly want. You can have bends go any which direction, be as creative with your, with your flow direction and with your uh, components as you want, again, within your budget. Uh, and it's just, it's a blast. It really is. Custom loop building is expensive. All the parts are extremely expensive, but is it worth it? Maybe not from a performance standpoint, but I would argue if you really value your work and you value being creative and just being different, having a PC that looks different from every other PC out there, then custom loop building is for you. And that's why when this person openly disagreed with me on Twitter to, in response to a tweet that really wasn't offensive at all, I was just, you know, asking, do you value cable management or do you not? You know, why would you? Why? And so someone else was like, well, I build a lot of PCs and so I, I, you know, I'm always taking them apart. I don't value it very much. That makes perfect sense. If you just don't care about it, maybe you do have a completely closed off left and right side panel, then you're not really gonna care about it much either, right? At least to the extent that it doesn't impede with your airflow. But if you're going to, you know, publicly tell me that I shouldn't be able to do something because it's just not the way it was back in the 90s and early 2000s, then I'm going to publicly disagree with you. I quoted his tweet and I said, look, dude, there's nothing wrong with me using PCs to express myself. They are my, they are my canvases. They're, it's my form of art. And I don't want anyone else telling me what I can and can't do when I express myself on a blank slate like that. He ended up deleting his tweet. A lot of people jumped to my defense, which I, I appreciated on Twitter, uh, but he, I guess, felt the need to delete it. I, I don't really see the point of that, right? You're gonna publicly disagree. Don't back down off your public disagreement by deleting it. Everyone's gonna know that you either regret it or just don't feel the need to defend yourself any longer. Uh, but uh, with that aside, I am still glad that this came up because it, it leads me to the conclusion of this very short video. No one's going to have the same opinion. You're not going to find any two people on earth who have the exact same opinions on every single topic out there, especially when it comes to something like uh, politics, right? Any kind of political argument is bound to have some form of disagreement. So with PCs, it's kind of the same, right? You can at least appreciate the artwork without saying that you would do something or paint something or create something that looks exactly the same. We all want to be unique in our own ways and there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't mean that I'm an entitled millennial because I want to be different. That doesn't mean that, you know, I was automatically born around the year 2000. That's ridiculous. You, you can label entire groups of people, you know, by what you see on the news and what you see on online. Uh, but when it comes down to it, you are unique and if you strive to be unique, you will you will be seen as such uh, by your colleagues, by your friends, or by people who just watch your videos. If you take the time to do something different, people will stop and appreciate it. Maybe not everybody, but those aren't the people you're doing it for. You're doing it for the people who do appreciate your work. You know, when you're willing to just destroy three rooms of your house or apartment to uh, build something like this, because I had to take parts from other builds that were already being used, that's why they were all torn down, um, then, you know, the people who appreciate appreciate that kind of work ethic are the ones you want sticking around. You don't want the people who are willing to bash you because you chose a case that has a transparent right side panel. He even went on to say that desktops shouldn't even be put on top of desks. I mean, isn't that why they're called desktops? So I don't want to call this a rant. I just wanted to state my case. I want you guys to know why I do what I do, why I enjoy making videos for all of you, and why I don't just post informative content that doesn't involve creativity to some extent, because this is what I truly love doing. And look, my custom loop builds on YouTube really don't get the exposure that I would like. Uh, most of the time they get 20,000 views or so, and that's really small in comparison to the number of subscribers we have on this channel. So active views on those videos, pretty low, but I still do them anyway, because those who do watch appreciate at least the work ethic and the, the you know the craftsmanship that goes into building something like this. I can't wait by the way to start bending tubes for this one. I don't know how I'm gonna run these runs. 
run these runs. Well, that, that really came out well. But uh, I am still excited for the end result. I always am with these because I don't actually picture it all in my head before I start. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what fluid I'm going to use yet. Maybe uh, white. I'm using white fitting, so I was thinking like an opaque white again uh, with black components. Should be a nice contrast. We'll see how it goes. But stay tuned for that video. For now, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Is your PC or are your PCs, if you have multiple PCs out there, maybe you've built multiples in the past, are they forms of art for you? Do you really care how they look or are you just the kind of person who keeps them on the ground and doesn't really bother with them? Do you have an ITX PC, a full-size tower? Do you have a transparent left and or right side panel? It'd be weird if you only had a right side panel that was transparent, but do you have something like that? Do you like to express yourself? That's what I want to know from all of you guys in the comments below. If you do like creativity, give this one a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thumbs down for the obstacle. Click subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for some informative topics here on the channel. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.